In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Voicealyzer. Voicealyzer is an AI text-to-speech software that allows you to enter your text into the software and then it will automatically generate a voiceover. I'm going to be showing you everything you're going to want to know about Voicealyzer and if you have any questions about this software, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I will keep updated so you always get your money's worth for Voicealyzer. If you are looking to create a side income or a full-time income on YouTube, why not check out my MMO Alliance course, which will teach you how I earn four to five figures every single month, somewhat passively on YouTube. This course will teach you everything you wanna know about how to promote on YouTube, how to earn passively, and it's backed by a case study where I create a YouTube channel from scratch, all on video, choose products to promote, and then prove to you, not only do I break even in the course, but I also turn a profit. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Here we are inside the Voicealyzer dashboard and instantly one thing I really like about it is the simplicity of it. There's absolutely no complication or iffy areas on where to go. At the top, you have your three main options. You've got your generate voice, your background music and training. The training is, is just under 10 minutes which shows you step by step on how to generate voiceovers and use Voicealyzer to, in the best way. Under the generate voice area you have your engine and you have your language. For the engine I personally am not a big fan of the standard so I'm going to use the neural in this review and then you have all of the voiceovers here followed by where you can adjust the speed and the volume and the pauses in the text. In this area you enter the text. Below it you can translate it into all of these languages. This is where you preview it and then you can create a player code and an audio URL to embed it into your website and over here is where you download everything. Now before I generate the audio I do want to say if you are looking for more examples of all of these voiceovers I'll leave a link in my description below which will take you to a whole bunch of snippets that I've created off video and this is only so I don't stretch the video out too long and, and for people who want a quick demo they get that here and if you want a full demo with all the voices etc head over to the link in the description. So we're going to keep the engine as neural and then under language we'll keep it as US and let's go ahead and use the Kendra. Now you can preview the options here. In this section, I'll go ahead and enter the text. I've just found myself a little poem, but you would put in whatever you want, like your eBooks or your video stuff or, some, or anything on those lines. So where it says, does it dry up? I'm gonna wanna add a pause there. So let's go ahead and add a pause and we'll keep it at one second. Then for like a raisin in the sun, I wanna adjust the volume. Let's go ahead and raise it just like that. And then it will go back. Let's go ahead and add another pause here. And I think by now you understand how all the pauses can work. In this section, you can translate all the text into any of these languages, and then you would click translate. Let's go ahead and generate the voice. The voice has been generated. Let's go ahead and listen to the voice. Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load, or does it? Okay, so I don't think that was too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and now do save voice. And now the voice is at the bottom here. Now, before we get to that and with all the other features, under get player code, you'll have to enter in your audio URL place so it can generate a code. Under generated voices, you have a few options. The first one is to play and pause it. Third one is to download it. And there you have it. You've got the MP3 player right here, which will play. Next, you can download the subtitles so you can upload it onto your YouTube videos and what's not. And then you've got the music. So if you click add music, you can preview any of these music. So let's go ahead and do dreaming and press add. And now in a couple of seconds, it's been added. So press okay. And now if we play it again. Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten? So that's what it sounds like with the music embedded in. Let's go ahead and change the language. So let's change it to, let's say French and then do translate. Now that's all been translated to French and go ahead and do generate voice. And let's listen to that one. S. Kiel Sesh, Common Raisin Au Soleil, 
Usenvector com un play at And that's the French version. And again, you can then save the voice, press OK, and repeat the process. So we've listened to a female voice. Let's go ahead and listen to a male voice. Let's go and listen to good old Matthew. Change it to Matthew. Let's change this back to, let's go with US and then do translate. Let's generate the voice that's been generated and let's press play. Does it dry up? Like a raisin in the sun? Or fester like a sore and then run? Does it sting like rotten meat? Or crust and sugar over like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags like a heavy load. Or does it? In the combined voices area, let's say that you've got a ton of uh, text that you want to be translated, like you're reading a book or something on those lines. This is where you can add all these voices together so you can make it fluent and congruent when it's reading line by line. Let's say you're, you're trying to transcribe a thousand words and that's the limit, a thousand words. I'm not entirely sure if that is the limit, but it'll be round about somewhere like that. So if you wanted to transcribe 2000 words, you'll do section one and then section section two, you'll come over to the combined voices and then you would combine it. You'll pick those files or three files or how many files you want and then you, you would click the combine button. So what do I think about Voicealyzer? Truthfully, I don't think the voices are that far from any other text-to-speech software. I just think human voices, especially at the cost that we're looking at these sort of softwares, are just not there yet. The technology just isn't fine-tuned enough for robot voice to be like human. But there are a few things that you can do, like add background music to the audio, make sure that your grammar is spot on, like pulling in proper proper punctuation. And ultimately, I actually don't think Voicealyzer is too bad considering they're offering a lifetime deal at the point of creating this video. And again, I'll leave that link below for you. And the price is really very low. So I think the price point is very reasonable. I think the interface and the ease of use from first logging in to getting started is next to none. There's, there's basically no learning curve at all. And the software does what it says it does, which is it turns text into audio. So overall, I actually don't think it's bad at all. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.